President's Page by Dr. Thomas Zamperi. A new thumbnail, head and shoulder length, black and white photo of Tom Zamperi, smiling broadly, accompanies his President's Page. In this photo, he is wearing a golf shirt containing the BVA logo. The background is a lightly colored one. There is no accompanying caption. The text of the President's Page reads, as we enter late summer and early fall, I hope that this issue of the bulletin finds you and your family safe and in good health. On behalf of the entire BVA Board of Directors, I send our thoughts and prayers to those who have had COVID-19 and wish them a quick and permanent recovery. During this time in which a vaccine is being developed, I encourage all of us, especially those who are high risk, to follow the guidelines of public health officials and our medical providers. Although knowledge of COVID-19 is still limited, we cannot go wrong in applying many of the preventative lessons we have learned from diseases such as the Spanish flu, typhoid, yellow fever, smallpox, and polio. We missed seeing our fellow BVA members at the National Convention this year after the difficult but necessary decision to extend the adjournment of the convention until August 2021 in St. Louis, Missouri. Meanwhile, the board is working closely with BVA staff to make various changes in order to reduce our operating expenses and streamline our fundraising with direct mail while also working to expand grants, corporate partnerships, and the individual donor pool. We appreciate the cooperation and support we are receiving in making such changes a reality. While our financial situation continues to improve, the major challenge confronting BVA is our decline in membership numbers. The same trend is taking place in all other traditional veteran service organizations. As we see in each issue of our bulletin, both the articles as well as the In Remembrance section, there are significant losses in our World War II and Korean War era veterans. This affects us not only on a national level, but also within our regional groups as we struggle with participation at all levels. I encourage our regional groups to communicate more with the members using whatever means is most effective for them, whether it be a simple telephone call, a text message, or a face-to-face -face chat using digital technology. VA Blind Rehabilitation Service, BRS, predicts a continued decline in the number of blinded veterans, but an increase of low vision veterans enrolling in care. VA is using teleconferences to engage with blinded and low vision veterans. We are working closely with BRS on how these current trends will affect our recruiting efforts at BVA. These efforts have traditionally focused on meeting new blind and low vision veterans in rehabilitation, something that has not been possible the past seven months with the pandemic. This is indeed a time of considerable uncertainty as we wade through these unprecedented events and chart our future direction. Whatever we do, we must do it together and continue to find ways to innovate the necessary changes to the organization to meet our challenges. I sincerely extend my deep appreciation to our BVA members and thank our BVA staff for their commitment and dedication.